Do you speak African? Well, neither do the 1.1 billion people in Africa. There's no reason the nation of Africa cannot and should not join the ranks of the world's most prosperous nation. It's not actually a country. It's a continent of 54 very different nations and more than 2,000 languages. But it's constantly misunderstood or misrepresented. Any mention these days of what was once called the Dark Continent conjures up lazy images of war, famine, corruption or disease. Who has time to mention the 22 Nobel laureates from nine different African countries, right? And guess where four of the ten fastest growing economies in the world are located? Not in Europe. Yep, they're in Africa. Which of course has issues with poverty and inequality. But let's not forget that one in three Africans is middle class. And the continent is one of the fastest growing markets in the world for mobile phones. And guess which one of these two places is in Africa? Wrong. But all this growth comes from foreign aid, right? That's where most of the money comes from, surely from Western handouts. Nope, not true. In fact, foreign aid represents only 2% of Africa's total GDP. In 2010, Africans living outside of Africa sent more cash back to their families at home than the rest of the entire world provided to the continent in foreign aid. How about the plight of poor African women? Well, the continent has had seven female presidents. The United States, still waiting, I'm afraid. Meanwhile, Rwanda has the highest proportion of female parliamentarians in the world, 64%. Over in the UK Parliament, it's a record 29%. But you know what? It's important that we focus only on the doom and gloom across the continent, because every 60 seconds in Africa, a minute passes by.